They're coming to get you, Barbara. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. The unburied dead are coming back to life seeking human victims. Welcome to a podcast from Beneath. This week we're going to talk about Suspiria. This is Carrie, and I'm here with Billy. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. How you been doing? Pretty good. Sorry, Eric. Did not make it tonight. He uh, tragically died. Yeah. Well, we keep changing days on him, so. Yeah. But, you know, he has to do it. He does his other his other show on Sunday, so. Yeah. I'm sure he'll That's be back next week. Yeah, hopefully he'll be back next week. We miss him. So anything new going on with you? Uh, not much. It's pr- I'm pretty hyped for Godzilla. Yeah, I'm hoping to maybe see that this weekend. Uh, I gotta. It's either that or Brightburn. I don't know which one I want to go see yet. May I just do both of them? Yeah, I want to see that Brightburn. I know this isn't horror, but I want to see that book smart. I haven't. I haven't even seen a trailer for that one yet. I saw one a long time ago. It looked really funny and. Apparently people are loving it. Apparently it's good. So what's going to be your new Sunday show now that Game of Thrones is over? I'm rewatching Game of Thrones. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on like season one, like episode seven or eight. What are you watching it on? Um, and it's on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know can, it was on there. Yeah, you can. Uh, I think it's like uh. Oh, if you if you if you subscribe to HBO, HBO yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't subscribe to HBO, but yeah, man, you should uh, definitely check it out. Like, you'll love it, and then like the last season, like don't get me wrong, last season. I mean, this season, last season was like there were some episodes that were really good, but there was like the last two. Uh, maybe not even the last, maybe just like the last episode I really didn't like. Other you that, did, you didn't like the last. You didn't like the last episode. Yeah, I mean, I thought the other episodes were good. Like, I mean, I wish it was longer. Wish they didn't rush, but I thought the episodes were good, except for you know the last episode. Yeah, like I just don't. I don't have time in my life to go back and even pick up where I left off. Yeah. And try to finish it. So I will not be doing that. Maybe I can I, find like a an abridged cliff note version or something. Yeah, find like a. Like yeah. <laughs> um, I need to finish Resident Evil 2 remake. I bought it like two months ago, two or three months ago or whatever, and like I got to a certain part that like it gave me anxiety. Like I had to, I stopped playing. <laughs> yeah, it did. it's just like the tyrant is like chasing you, and there's like no safe place. You have to keep running and running, and like he. Will bust out the fucking wall to get you, like, yeah. Yeah, I've still got to finish. Um, I haven't finished Red Dead Two. Oh, that's a god. Yeah, I like to, I like to finish that one because I got the online stuff now. So, yeah. of course, I played the online a little bit whenever they first launched it, but it was kind of the, it was kind of empty. Yeah, I played a little bit of the first, like the like the first Red Dead. I played a little bit of that online, not too much. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and do some news stories. Medical authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases, the killers are eating the flesh of the people they murdered. Repeating this latest bulletin just received moments ago from Cumberland, Maryland, Civil defense authorities have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. First on my list here, this is not a horror movie, but I guess it could be, depending on if it's done right. Uh, James Wan is doing the Mortal Kombat remake. Is he producing anything? I believe he's directing it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I just... I'm kind of excited for this, and I really like the first movie that they done didn't really care for the second one um yeah 
yeah, it was horrible. But uh, yeah, I was I'm real excited for this one. I'm just you know just to see what they'll do if they'll do anything different. If they'll add stuff from the from the other games. I think when the first movie came out was what there was only what three other video games. Video game or the movie came out like what ninety six ninety seven. I don't even remember. But you I think it was a, you were the cartoon. I remember it. I don't. I, I never watched it, oh, but I just okay. remember yeah. seeing like the. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited for uh, just a you know a new Mortal Kombat movie. Remember those uh, YouTube short videos of Mortal Kombat, like more realistic. Oh yeah, they were. Somebody was trying to, I guess, get it made. So well, they, would, they that was like it. their that was yeah, like their test they, footage or something. I think they actually did do a. Uh, like a YouTube show for it. It was like 10 minutes long or something. Because didn't the guy that played Spawn, didn't he play Jax in it? Yeah, I think my one of my buddies watched it. I think he liked it. I think I watched a couple of the, uh, just a couple of the videos. Maybe like the Scorpion. Because Scorpion's my favorite character, so I know I watched that one. And I don't know if I watched any of the other ones or not. Kung Lao. That's who my favorite is, Kung Lao. <laughs> um... I'm excited for Swamp Thing because his shit looks horror related. I was going to bring that up. Look, when I, was, I just watched the trailer, looks like right before it. we got on here, and now I'm like going to have to get the DC streaming service. Yeah, dude. I'm just not sure how much it is. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, it looks. It's kind of like they're taking the, like, kind of like the uh, Alan Moore route. Right. Because I, I yeah, have couple like the first two volumes i heard zach snyder not snyder but scott uh yeah scott snyder thanks for me uh he did the a realm swamp thing uh I ha- i've got the book i just haven't read it yet which i heard is really good too like kind of horror oriented also it definitely had a horror feel to it i know that one like i said i just watched the trailer but i guess there was a i'm not sure what's going on with the little girl in it like, it looks like she passes out, like, and starts getting a nosebleed in school or whatever. And then it cuts to, like, it looked like somebody, like, in an old cabin. And it looks like they're sawing, I'm assuming, somebody up. And then that little girl, like, sees it and screams or something. I can't remember. But, yeah, it, it looks really good. I'm excited for it. I just didn't want to have to pay for a streaming service just to watch it. Yeah. But I guess... And it's DC, so they'll have other. I guess they'll have other things on there that'll be make it worth um, get you know paying for it. Of course, I guess are they going to have all of the episodes drop at the same time, like like Netflix does, or? Uh, I'd say so. Because if they, you know, if they do that, maybe I could just do like the. Maybe they'll have like a seven day free trial that I can just binge the whole series in seven days um did you get to see there was a new well, i guess not new it's that's the first one the trailer for uh terminator i think uh, it's called yeah. terminator dark fate terminator dark fate uh i don't know it didn't really nothing too spectacular in the trailer well when i when i watch it i just kept thinking i know what they're doing <laughs> this is a this is a sequel to part two uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's time travel, so basically you can just get rid of the other movies, but I think that's, everybody's going to start doing that now. <laughs> I wonder what, like, where's John Connor is? I, I don't know. I'm assuming he's either dead. He can't be dead. He's the, uh... Well, in this timeline, he can be dead. And then, now, this other little girl is the new... Yeah, or Sarah Connor in this timeline is the leader of the resistance. Or maybe John, they got John Connor protected somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. Maybe they got a rich maybe, deal, She's part of it too. Yeah, maybe he's somewhere else, and then Sarah Connor went back to like after after um, Terminator Two. Maybe she went back to Mexico, where they were. You know, remember whether she went to get all the uh, she had all of her uh, buddies weapons you know hit at and that's where they went maybe she just went back there and then john connor went somewhere else i don't know but the 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 new terminators look i mean there's not much you can do i mean there's nothing new really you can do with them 
So the newest thing I saw was, I guess, the... The two Terminator dudes. The guy Terminator, I guess, his... His liquid... Um, I guess the coating over the uh, over the uh, endoskeleton, I guess, can come off and create another... And get, like, the endoskeleton and the the liquid coating can, like, yeah, you know, they can separate separate. and be two separate entities. entities, yeah. And then I'm not for sure what's up with... Um, she's, like, human. She's, like, I am like, human. Yeah, so I don't know if it's maybe they put... I guess it'd be, like, the... Uh, in... Which one was it? Salvation? You know, like, I didn't know he was a Terminator. Yeah, he was, like, human, and then they turned him into one, so maybe that's... Maybe that's what they're doing with her. I'm, I'm not for sure, but... I just think with the whole going back and redoing your, you know, they, like they did with Halloween and, you know, you just forget these other movies happen. This is the true sequel or the true, even though this is, this would be technically part three yeah. of the franchise, but I don't know. See, I thought that, um, I thought James Cameron was going to direct this one. But I guess he's just producing it. Yeah, he got some of the rights back back when he produced it and everything. Yeah, the another trailer I saw was it's on it's on Netflix. It's called Perfection. This is some kind of like I think I've heard about it. The trailer looks really good. Um, I'm not really not for sure what it's about, um, other than maybe um, this one character or these two characters. I guess they're both vitalists. Oh and yeah, I yeah. Yes, maybe yeah, that yeah. one girl is trying to just kill. I guess maybe drive this other woman crazy so she leaves the orchestra or whatever so she can take her spot. I don't know, but it it, it looks really good. It looks kind of creepy. Oh. But it's it, it's gonna be it's it's on Netflix. I think it, I think it came out yesterday on Netflix. You want watch it? I I may have to check it out. Yeah. And uh, we also, I also got to point out Linda Hamilton still looks good. Sorry, I think she looks pretty, even for how old, however old she is. Eighty-five, I think. Really? Are you? Serious? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if she's eighty-five or not. I'm not sure how old she is. It's good for her age, I tell you that. She hasn't done anything since. I think Terminator Two. I don't. Yeah, I don't think she. Well, no, she, not she count... she's got that Terminator money. Yeah, not unless you count. Um, she was in Terminator Salvation. She she recorded new audio yeah. for him, but like on the tapes, the cassette tapes that he was listening to. So I guess you can count that. Yeah, she don't need to work. She got that Terminator money. Yeah, I know. All right, so the last bit of movie, or not movie, but horror-related news I have is there's a new social media app coming out, and it's called Slasher. And it's just for, uh, like, horror community stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it, that, it seems like it might be kind of cool, I guess, as long as it's as long as long they stick to just horror and not allow people to put, you know... Other stuff. Stupid memes and stuff on there. Yeah. But it's going to be on... Um, I think it's just an app. It's going to be on Apple and Android. Like, I, I'm on their website, and it doesn't have a lot of okay. information on there, so I think it's just going to be an app. I don't think there's going to be, like, a... You, I don't think you can get to it on you know, through a browser or anything. But that seems kind of interesting, and I was thinking it would be a, maybe, like, a really good good way to promote, like, uh, you know, our podcast and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Well, all right, Carrie, since you picked this movie, what did you think of... Uh, 2018? 18, 2018. Suspiria. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, and I'm a huge fan of the original. I'm like a big Dario Argento fan. But I thought this one was a lot better than the original. Oh, really? Yes. Um, I think it's because it had a lot more going on instead of just one simple plot. It was like <sighs> kind of some side plots, you know what I mean? A lot of yeah. background shit. Yeah, there was. They definitely had. They de- this movie definitely had a better story than the original. Yeah, yeah, I, I think the original was just. Or goes to ballet school or whatever. 
Yeah, but it, it really wasn't even because I'm trying to remember if in the original was there even any scenes where they were dancing or doing any kind of ballet. I can't remember. This was you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That. I don't, I don't think there was. But I mean, as far as this one goes, like I said, the original to me was just visuals with all the, the lighting. Yeah, I just red, remember that barbed blue wire and green. Scene. Remember the what? Barbed wire scene with that girl. Oh yeah, um, and then of course everybody likes you know the music you know Goblin. Um, yeah, I thought Tom York was a very weird choice to do the. Ah, uh, very weird choice, but he done a really good job. I enjoyed, yeah. I enjoyed the music of it. But as far as like I said, as far as the comparing to the original, I think this one had a better storyline. Yeah, I thought there was a lot going on for like a lot more instead of just like one simple thing. It was kind of like sad stories, like you know, like war or like like a. Well, not war, but a um, there's some serious shit going on in Berlin at the time. I don't yeah. Know, I don't know what was really going on in the seventies. I don't remember, but yeah, because yeah, this I, yeah this movie was set in. I want to say it was set in 1977, which I believe is the same year that the original movie came out. Yeah. I thought like uh. The kind of like the, they gave you kind of a backstory, not really, really, like told you what was going on, but with uh, the main character who was played I think, you, Dakota with, Johnson. Yeah, Dakota Johnson played Susie. Oh, yeah. you mean with her? Um, what was she going on like, with her? It's like yeah, as a kid. Younger. Yeah, as a kid, like obsessed with Berlin, and just you know, like you can see a lot of that stuff really when the visuals when. Random, when well, she's like sleeping, and like she gets these random visuals. I thought some of it was cool, but some of it was just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, a lot of the a lot of the visuals, like I said, I think where this, <clears throat> what I liked about this movie as opposed to the original was I liked the look of this one more because it had that that dark, type. yeah, drab. Everything was brown, and then you know it, the movie felt cold. Yeah. You know, because of like you know where you know where it was set and like all the rain. Um, and I thought like the first, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the first death in the movie where that girl she like in the beginning of the film she calls the uh, everybody in that room or she calls the women that own the place that they're at witches, and then. She ends up like getting fucked up, like contorted. She had like her, I mean, her eyes like keep on watering. Yeah, so the um, they put like a curse on her, or a hex, or what you want to say. Cause yeah, but I guess like the so I guess like the main plot of the story is um, the Dakota Johnson character Susie. She um, you know, goes to Berlin. <laughs> she wants to join this dance school, yeah, you know, true. ballet school. Which I'm not sure if it's even ballet or not. I don't think um, just more of like interpretive dance. Yeah. And the school that she's wanting to join is really ran by a coven of witches. Yeah. And whenever she, I guess, tries out, and does her, you know, dance. audition dance. Yeah, she um, I guess the head witch at that time, which is played by Tilda Swinton. She may be one of the greatest actresses. <laughs> yeah, because she played three characters in this movie, <laughs> and we'll we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, but I guess whenever she witnesses, I don't think she even sees it. I think she just kind of feels, for some reason, the dance. Oh the no, uh, she, no, she's there. She's sitting down. She's like, sit down. You know, just join us whenever you're ready. She's sitting down, and that one girl's name Olga or whatever. Mm-hmm. She was. She she's like flips out and it just like goes on like a little rant and calls them witches and like leaves and then she's packing her shit or whatever and her eyes like starts watering and I was like oh shit oh, because before before that 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 girl says oh I could do that girl's part and so Tilda Swinton like grabs her she does some kind of like rubbing thing 
I guess that was like some kind of hex on the girl that just for that girl that just left. So when that girl was dancing, that one girl's body was just contorting everywhere and like hitting the walls and shit. Yeah, well, like I said, they um, I guess that whenever the Tilda Swinton character sees her dancing, she knows that she's it. She, this is the girl they want to be. I guess then you know join the, their coven, or no to get the uh, what's her name reborn. Yeah, the uh, mother Suspiria. She'll be the new mother Suspiria. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so like then whenever that one girl leaves, and then she's like, yeah, I could do her, I could do that part, and of course, like you said, her her eyes keep watering and she can't see. And she stumbles into this room. Full of mirrors. That when when the wall, it's like almost it looks like a hidden wall. Yeah. So whenever she goes in and it closes, there's no like hand, like door handle or anything to get back out. Yeah. And it's the entire room is nothing but you know wall. All the walls are mirrors. Yeah. And then as Susie's doing her dance, at like her movements are. The other girl that's in that room, like her, the movements are almost copying. So if, you know, Susie does something where she moves quickly to the left, it throws this girl against the wall. Oh, yeah, and it really, it starts, like, like, oh, man, it fucks her up. Yeah, it's like, it starts, like, her, I guess the first thing you really see is it slams her against the wall, and it's like a close-up of her face. And her bottom jaw was, like, starting to, like, get you know pulled away from her head and then like when like she's pretty much like you think she's dead she's really not oh like, yeah because yeah she gets like i, mean, I don't her, know both, I don't know both really of her think. legs <clears throat> both of her legs are like folded behind her and her arms are all you know both of her arms are broken and like twisted up and yeah go. and she's still alive yeah they come out they come in and get her and and take her out, take her out of that room. Yeah, they, yeah, they hit her with like these like. What would you call them? Those little hook things. Yeah, I don't know what those. Yeah, that's how they like. Pick how they look like. Just like metal hooks that they stuck in her arms and legs, and that's how they. That's what they they picked her up with. Yeah, that's how they picked her up. Yeah, it was weird. And I'm guessing that because the uh, the other the first character we see is um, Patricia, played by Chloe Grace Moret, uh, Moretz. Is that how you yeah. pronounce her name? <clears throat> I'm assuming she she figured out that they were also you know witches, and I guess she you know escaped. Yeah. And she goes to which I thought the guy was going to be like a like a shrink or something. Yeah, I, I, th- I thought it was too. I think he's actually just like an investigator or maybe like some kind of reporter. Well, he is a doctor. He might have been just like. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, but I think his uh, his name was Dr. Klimper. Yeah, it's played by like a, Tilda Swinton. Yeah, played by t- <laughs> Tilda Swinton. Yeah, she played the uh, the main male character and done a fantastic job. I didn't know that. That was her. Yeah, I didn't know if she until was, I finished I watching the movie it. and I seen as in the you know I seen it. Um, I either saw it in like on information movie database mm-hmm. or somewhere else, but I was just I was like, what? Yeah, so she plays three three characters in this movie. That's just remarkable. She is great. Yeah, she did a really good job. Really good. So you were saying earlier that the, um, I guess maybe you didn't enjoy the dancing. <laughs> no, they were, I don't know. Maybe I'm not used to that type of stuff. It just kind of made me laugh. Yeah, like I said, it's 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 not, I wouldn't consider it ballet. I would definitely say that it's just interpretive dancing. Yeah. Um, not something you would see like in Break Into Electric Boogaloo, but. Should we the part? Yeah, <laughs> um, but I really I, I I'm gonna say I enjoyed it, and only because I found 
It was almost like a, it had like a sexual nature to it. Yeah, it was kind of erotic at times. Yeah, especially that one where she's um, the Susie character is she. Whenever she's doing, it, she's like she's really close to the floor. Yeah. Right. Like her yeah. face is on the floor, but she's kind of her, you know, her, her ass is up in the air. And that's whenever, like, I'm assuming it's one of the, probably the the Mother Suspiria is, like, I guess in the basement of this of this building. And, like, her hand comes up and, like, touches the floor, like, underneath where Susie's dancing at. So that's, I mean, it's just, yeah, that's like a weird thing of like, I don't understand the, the dancing that goes along with like the, you know, the, the witchcraft part of it. Oh man, this movie, like, especially at the ending really creeped me out. Like I said, like, I think this guy should do Hellraiser. Yeah, definitely. Because this movie, like I said, the movie from, from the opening shot up until, I mean, I'd say what, maybe the last 20 minutes of the movie, it's, there's not a lot of, you know, horror in it. I mean, we got the, you know, that awesome death with the, you know, the contortionist. Um, it's just, it's more of a, I don't know, I guess I, I would just call it, up until, up until the end, it's a psychological thriller, maybe. But it has that, like I said, everything's brown and drab and dreary. You get to the end, and it's like a completely different movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was... <clears throat> like I said, you didn't really see much horror. You saw a lot of visuals, a lot of, like, you know, witchery, I guess you would say. Like, the only, like, moments that I thought... I saw that was brutal was, like, like the... Court, the court, uh, the blah, that girl was, like, bodies contorted. And then... When that random witch stabbed herself in the fucking neck. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. And probably she didn't want to like she like everything's fucked up. She probably just did it. And <laughs> yeah. then when um, you know, Tilda Swinton's character, um, well, one of her, or both of her characters died at the end. Yeah. She played uh, Madame Blank and Miss Marcos. And those yeah, the... But that I think that last scene when she died. I think that was CGI blood, though. It probably was, but yeah, the um, whenever her Madame Blank character gets killed, um, I thought that was I thought that was really good. Like, what what did they use? Was it a for what? Whenever they cut, when they almost cut her head off, <laughs> what did they what did they hit her in the hit her in the neck with? I think she just used her hands. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, she's like went like that. Used her hands or something, and she used some kind of witch shit. I don't remember seeing anything in her hands. She yeah, I like, just thought, oh. I thought that was really cool because it was like her head just fell forward. Yeah. And it didn't cut all the way through, so it was just kind of hanging on by like the the front part of her throat. Yeah. But see again, like in the original, the um, our main character, which I I believe her name was Susie, also. Yeah. She didn't in this movie our character Susie accepts the fact that she's going to be the new mother Suspiria and just yeah. takes on the role. You know what I'm saying? And I thought that was really cool when she walks down into the, the, I guess, well, I don't want to call it the basement, but, and she kind of rips her chest open. Oh yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was like really, but yeah, like in the original, the, you know, the, the main character, she didn't, she didn't do that she um i guess she's she kind totally of against everything yeah she i guess whenever she found out all that she actually you know killed the mother suspiria by stabbing her you can only see like a silhouette or something <laughs> she like stabbed her or whatever and then the whole place burns down and she escapes um but i really liked how in this movie there was no yeah, you know, happy ending. <laughs> you know where the you know, main character escapes or whatever. Oh yeah, it was pretty much like. Oh man, I don't know. Like, it kind of confused me a little bit. I was just like, "What the fuck's going on?" Like, yeah, I, I definitely need to watch it again. Yeah. Um, 
just to see more, try to you know figure more out. But the um, the original. So the thing that killed actually the blob, madam, whatever, that was actually death. Like, that was played by the woman who played uh, Susie's mother. Yeah, I was going to say that 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 was the same, but uh, Jessica Harper, who played Susie in the original, she was in this movie also. Um, She played the wife of Dr. Klemper. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess another thing, too, is like I guess they had been either watching this Dr. Klemper for a while because they wanted him to be, I guess, like the witness. Yeah. Um, so I guess they use his dead wife, you know, they, you know, they, she like, I guess it's like her ghost or whatever that lures him back to the school. And he, I guess he has to witness the transition of the, of the new mother Suspiria. Hey, you remember when like his wife was like, you know, his wife appeared and then like, she like disappeared. And then that woman's like, ah! <laughs> like, <"Bruh."> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is funny. But yeah, I mean, this movie, I thought it was pretty good. Like, uh, definitely was definitely, definitely what I would consider definitely a fucking remake. You would consider it a remake? Like, a, like a, I think what a remake should be. Should totally be, yeah. Different. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I said, all they all they used was a girl goes and joins a dance school that's ran by witches. <laughs> that's yeah. it. That's the only thing they used, you know, from the original. Uh, everything else in this movie was new, you know, like new stuff. Oh, definitely, dude. It was definitely... And I think another... People nowadays are like, um, if ten people on Twitter hate something, everybody has to hate it, right? Yeah. Like, you know, no one wants to say, you know, well, I like that, because everybody, you know, hated this movie just because it was a remake of what everybody considers, and I don't consider it um, his best film. I don't consider, I don't think this is a uh, Dirigent his best film. But everybody, everybody complained like, you know, oh, you can't remake Suspiria because, you know, it's a classic and it's, you know, his best work or whatever. No, this wasn't his best film. And like I said, the original to me was just almost like a, um, how am I going to say it? Um, almost like he was just testing, like, um, you know, what if we use just, you know, lit everything red and blue and green. You know what I'm saying? And that was, that's what that film was. It was just a, you know, a real basic storyline and it just a lot of, you know, really good visuals. I mean, I like the the visuals of the original and I like the music of the original, but that's all that movie really had going for it. Yeah. Really. It's, it's, original Suspiria has gotten more of a hype. You know what I mean? Yeah, hide than it's not. It's like I said, it's not my favorite of his films. I like Deep Red better. I'm trying to think what would be my because I really like Stendhal Syndrome. That's probably one of my one of his. I think one of his best films. I don't think I ever seen that one. You have the DVD. I gave you the DVD to watch. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite dude. Still need to watch it. Whenever we got to review it, I got to watch it. Yeah, hey, there you go. Um, what would you, uh, how many, uh, would you recommend this movie? I would recommend this movie. Um, I would recommend this movie if you like weird movies. Um, because like I said, there's no, like I said, I need to watch it again just to make sure that I fully I need to watch it, especially for the ending, because like I said, I was kind of confused at the ending. I wasn't, I, know confused. The mother... I wasn't confused at the ending. I mean, I knew what was going on, but it was such a big. Like a lot was happening at once. I don't want to say twist because it wasn't a like a twist. It wasn't like a plot twist. Just yeah. a, it was like a different movie. Just all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? 
and I think there was a lot of um a lot of stuff that I that I probably missed you know, just in that in that last uh because it kind of kind of happens pretty quick you know you know what I'm saying yeah. once the uh, once death shows up and starts pretty much killing everybody um there may have been some little things I missed but but yeah if you're I don't want to call this. Would you call this movie? Would you say that it's artsy? Definitely. Um, yeah. So I would say if you're into that sort of thing, I would definitely recommend it. But I mean, hell, it's free on Amazon Prime, so you're not really out anything. Um, it is a long movie though. It was what um, two hours and thirty some minutes. Yeah. So you know, definitely be ready for that. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. I mean, if you're a fan of horror. Or interpretive dancing, you're definitely gonna like this one. You know what's crazy is the guy that directed this. Um, this was actually, a, I think, it won a few Oscars or I don't know, nominated for a lot. I can't remember hmm. that movie. Oh, what was it? Um, Call Me by Your Name. That movie, and then he did with Suspiria. So this guy's like. He's the real deal. He does drama, and then he goes to art horror. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely... Um... I see, that's what I... I mean, I know that... Um... I think that's what I like whenever... A, a director that isn't known for horror, doesn't do a lot of horror, does a horror movie. I think it really... Because, you know, they bring a lot of other stuff to it. Definitely, and sometimes they make it look better. If not, they don't make it. If they don't, those art films on like, especially you know nowadays, where like they do remakes, some of them kind of want to have it like a more artsy or prestige look. Sometimes that's all they go for is that look, and they don't really care about the story or the plot of the movie. And you know, this is one of the better remakes. This is one that got like not even the look down, but like. The art, artsy look that they were going for. They got that down. They got the uh, about the story. I mean, it didn't bore me. This movie didn't bore me at all. No, I enjoyed it from beginning to end. Um, like I said, I wouldn't even say that the. Um, I wouldn't even call the. I wouldn't even say the look of the film was like, like artsy. Like I think they. I think the look of the film followed the story. Like the visuals, maybe are yeah. The the well, the visual of it's because, like I said, it's set in like seventy seven, and when I think of like late seventy stuff, that's what I think of: brown paneling and near wood, and you know, um, you know, just everybody wearing gray and brown and you know, dark colors. So I think you know, just doing you know, having it set in that time period. You know, and in that country, that's it. That that was a look that I had. So, like I said, I I, I think they, I think the the look of it fit the storyline. I don't think it was done just to, you know, just to have a of of you know something that looks nice. Yeah, I mean, no, it doesn't. But like, I hate when movies like rely on that a lot. Yeah. Like that's not. That's not how you do I mean, that. I mean, because they could have easily of you know done the you know, copied the original and done the blue and green, you know, the loud collars. Yeah. You know, but they didn't, so. Although I think there was maybe, like, a, I'm trying to figure out, like a, there was almost like a, I guess it was maybe, like, some kind of spirit that would show up, like, especially when she was dreaming, you would see it, like, kind of floating. Yeah, it was like. And a, it was, like, almost a rainbow, like yeah. a weird rainbow collar, but it was, like, shaking. That was probably the closest that was probably like I would call that like an homage to the original. <laughs> yeah, I recommend it too, man. I really do. Uh, way better than last week's movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I really, I really did enjoy this movie. Uh, like I said, it's one of the best. Too many remakes out there that are good or just as good as the movie. I'd have to rewatch both of them. Yeah, no, yeah, I definitely want to go back and watch the original again. Also, so what would be your um, 
What would be your top three remakes? First one's probably got to be um, The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, Evil Dead. And Dawn of the Dead. Those are my top three. What about you? I would go Evil Dead. Dawn of the Dead. And then Suspiria. That's like my top three like remakes that I really enjoyed. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, I was very happy with this. It didn't let me down. It was good stuff. It was good shit. I just wonder if they'll do... Because he has the... Um, there was a trilogy of witch movies. Um... It was the, I can't remember what he called it, the something trilogy. The color trilogy? No, I want to say it was, um, I want to say it was like the Mother trilogy is what it was called. The what trilogy? Mother. Because there was, um, you know, like the original three and then sometime in the, sometime in 2000, he done the, um. He done one more, I guess like a fourth movie. It was called uh, Mother of Tears, I think. Or oh, I think I've heard about that. Yeah, <clears throat> he started getting shitty like between like late eighties until now. I don't know. I guess the worst thing I've seen him do was the um, his version of Dracula. I was about to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know if I finished it. Um, I can't remember for sure. It was a long time ago, though. Because I, I want to say it was. I don't know. Was it in 3D? I don't know. I never saw it in 3D. Like, I just think when I, when I just remember when I watched it, I kept thinking that um, it 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 had shots in it that looked like it was like supposed to have been 3D. I'm sure they probably started. I was like, oh shit, we don't have the money for this. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the Three Mothers is a trilogy of films. It consists of Suspiria, Inferno, and then The Mother of Tears was the third one that came out in 2007. So I just wonder if they will redo, So if someone's going to redo Inferno. Mm, I just give it time. I don't know then, about any time recently, but just give it time. Because I really liked Inferno. I liked the, the Mother of Tears is really good, too. I liked it. If you haven't seen it, it was really good. Uh, Inferno was good. Um, Deep Red is probably my favorite, though. I really like Deep Red. Yeah, Deep Red. If you really like um, um, these type of films, you know, the Italian horror films, what's it called? Uh, I never can print Giallo. Giallo. There's a movie on Amazon Prime called The Editor. Awesome. And it's like a... Uh, yeah, it's the guys that did uh, Father's Day. Yeah, it's like a Giallo throwback. Um, it was it was really good. I enjoyed watching that one. Yeah, I thought that was okay. I didn't, like, I didn't mind it. It was pretty good. That's all I can say about this movie, man. Yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, I never was a big fan of because I don't think I've seen Dakota Johnson in anything else. I mean, I know I know what she was oh, in, like, yeah. you know, Fifty yeah. Shades and all that, but yeah. which I've never seen, and I don't think I've ever seen her anything else. She was in Bad Times at Elm Street. Yeah, see, I haven't seen that one yet. Um, but I really liked her in this movie. Um, yeah, she's a good actress. Yeah, she is. Um, and, and of course, I mean, she's just. I guess she gets that, and maybe she just gets that. Um, you know, she was in Fifty Shades. Yeah, you know, her dad is Don Johnson. Really? I didn't know that. And whoever he used to be married to, Melanie Griffin. Melanie Griffin? Is that so that's her mom or is I think. He has a he has a, or she has a famous mom. I know her dad's Don Johnson. Hmm, I did not know that. I I just didn't put it together, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I I thought she done really good. Um even you know, like even her look in the movie was I really like you know the way she looked in the film. Yeah, yeah, she's very pretty. 
Yeah, yeah, but definitely, I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, it's on Amazon. Um, I would, I would love to get the Blu-ray though. Oh yeah, I think it would look I awesome you, on Blu-ray. I bet you that on 4K looks awesome. Yeah, well, I don't have a 4K TV yet, so <laughs> I think 4K is kind of a, pushing. No, it's yeah, it's pushing the limits of what my eyes can even see. <laughs> like yeah. I doubt I could even see the difference between Blu-ray and 4K, so. I don't want to have to like keep rebuying all my movies. Yeah, for real. On, but I think uh, I think this movie would look really good on Blu-ray, so I may have to track it down. Maybe Walmart will have it. They might. Oh, I doubt it. I doubt it. If not, FYE does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go pay forty dollars at FYE for it. On the phone and stuff. But I guess Amazon should have it since this is an Amazon film. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That was another thing that surprised me is that that this wasn't Amazon. I mean, they just produced it or whatever, but um, but that it actually got like a theatrical release, limited, because it didn't come anywhere close around here. Because I was really wanting to see it in the theater, but we live in a shithole, so we don't get the good movies. The only thing that good came here, if it does come here, it comes with like Nitro. I saw the Raid 2 and I saw Green Room. I would love to have seen Green Room on the, in the theater. Actually, I think like we didn't get me and my friend didn't get to see the last like 20 minutes of it because the movie had like just stopped. <laughs> yeah. I would have been pissed because that was a really good movie. Oh yeah, Green Room was awesome. All I can think about, man. Yep. So, um, so next week. Hopefully, have Eric. Hopefully, we can bring Eric back from the dead. And then, um, hopefully, we're going to be talking about Chud 2. He's like Bud to Chud, I think. <laughs> Isn't it? Should, but... should we do both? Should we do Chud and Chud 2? I don't know if Chud is. I don't know if the first one's on any streaming services, but. Nah. I think Chud 2 is its own separate movie. I think Chud 2 is more of a comedy, maybe, I want to say. All right. I, guess, I guess the first show was, I don't know. I haven't seen the first show in like a couple of years. I don't, yeah, I don't wasn't, think uh, I, wasn't John Goodman in the first one? No, the father from uh, Home Alone, I think it was. I could have swore John Goodman was in. <laughs> Why am I thinking John Goodman was in he Chud? He was in Arachnophobia. I want to look up Chud now, because I'm pretty sure he was <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was in Arachnophobia. Oh, yeah, I know he was in that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Daniel Stern was in Chud. Yeah. John Hurd. Yeah, it's the father. I don't know. I was thinking John Goodman was in it. It's weird. Was he in the second one, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> when did the second one come out? Oh, well, apparently Daniel Stern has a uncredited writing credit for Chud. <laughs> Daniel Stern. I have a friend who looks like him. Really? His name is Eric Hodge. Yeah, so next week, uh, Chud 2. Is it called Chud 2 or is it just Chud? I think it's Chud 2. I'm pretty sure it's called. Chud 2, Bud the Chud. There we go. 1989. Yeah, we'll be reviewing that. And I'm sure we're going to have a long discussion for this movie. Because it's probably good and bad. Those those are the really good episodes. The good, bad yeah. movies. Definitely. Or the bad, bad movies. Yeah, or the straight up bad. Straight up garbage. Yeah, so Chud 2 next week. Um, Where can they find you at on the old Twitter? Uh, they can find me at Bash Hall Wizard. All right, and you can find me at 1313 Inc. And you can find the podcast on Twitter. Uh, we're also on Facebook. We have a Facebook group. And we're on Instagram. <coughs> I believe that's it. Um, you, if you want, you can go to our Patreon and uh, throw us some money our, our way there. Generous. And you can still buy a t shirt. And we have other things too. We have t shirts and hoodies and. Phone cases and pillows. There's a bunch of stuff on there. You should go check it out. Um, it's a you know the T Public store. You can find the links. Um, the link if you go to our Facebook 
page. You can the shop button on there takes you straight to the store. Uh, you can find links to everything else on our website. Um, it's a uh, 1313neat.wordpress.com. So you can find all the information there. And uh, yeah, you should definitely you know help us out there. And if there's nothing else, I guess we'll call this one done. All right then. See y'all later. Next week.